Welcome to Jom Stabila YouTube channel. Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your studies and preparation for your IGCSC upcoming examination. Today we are going to prepare you with these first year exam questions for winter 2019 part one of two. And without further ado, let's get started. Question number one. The rate of diffusion of a gas depends on its molecular mass and the temperature. Which combination of molecular mass and temperature give the slowest rate of diffusion? Diffusion is caused by a random molecular forces bound between other molecules. If a molecule is heavy, has a higher molecular mass and hence a higher molar mass, such job will cause smaller movements and heavier molecular therefore diffuse slower. The answer for this will be B. Molecular mass is high and the temperature will be low. A student is asked to measure the time taken for 0.4 gram of magnesium carbonate to react completely with 25 centimeter cube of dilute hydrochloric acid. Which pieces of apparatus does the student need? So you need a balance, you need a stop clock, and you need a pipe kit. Substance Q was invested using chromatography. The chromatogram is shown, the diagram is not drawn to scale. What is the R value of Q? So, if you want to find a retention factors, there will be a formula which is distant from baseline to center of the spot, which is you get 83, you have to minus by 30, you get the value of 70, and divided by distance of solvent front from baseline. You have 140 minus 13, you get a value of 101. And 70 over 101, you get a value of 0 0.693. So the answer for number three will be C. Which statement about an ionic compound is not correct? It has a high melting point due to strong attractive forces between ions. So the answer will be B. What is the total number of electrons in one module of ammonia, NH3? There are 10 electrons in NH3 and one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen are contained in NH3 molecules. Rubidium has two isotopes. And which a statement explain why both isotopes have the same chemical properties. And atom with the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons are called isotope. And they are share almost the same chemical properties, but differ in mass and therefore in physical properties. So the answer for number six will be B. Which a statement about the structure and properties of silicon for oxide is not correct. It has a high melting point due to the strong attractive force between molecules. Which statement describes the structure of copper? Copper is a metal. Each of copper atom gives up its outer shell electron to form a positive ion. So the electrons are mobile and occupy the spaces between the positive ions to form a sea of electrons. Both molten and alcohol sodium chloride consist of only oppositely charged ion. So the answer for this will be it has a lattice of positive ion in a sea of electrons. Phosphorus reacts with oxygen to form phosphorus 3 oxide as shown, which mass of phosphorus 3 oxide is produced from 6.2 gram of phosphorus. To get the answer, this is when a phosphorus reacts with oxygen to form phosphorus 3 oxide, 
Given the mass of phosphorus is 6.2 gram, atomic mass of phosphorus equals to 31 gram, molecular weight of phosphorus P2O3 get the value of 110 gram per mole, and amount of phosphorus is equivalent to 6.2 gram divided by 31 gram mole, you get the value of 0 0.2 mole. An amount of P2O3 form is equivalent to 0 0.2 mole divided by 4 times by 2, you get the value of 0 0.1 mole. And mass of P2O3 is equivalent to 0 0.1 mole multiplied by 110 gram per mole, you get the value of 11 gram. So the answer for number 9 is C, 11 gram. So as a conclusion, 11 gram of phosphorus 3 oxide is produced from 6.2 gram of phosphorus. Let's look for the question number 10. Calcium carbonate is heated. When the calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas are formed, and the equation for the reaction is shown. 2 to 5 kg of calcium carbonate is heated until there is no further change in the mass. The yield of calcium oxide is 85 gram. What is the percentage yield? The answer for this will be 67.5%. So you can get the value of what I already shown here is get the value of 67.5%. The diagram shows a simple cell which pair of metals produce the largest voltage. The answer for this will be metal P is a magnesium and metal Q is a copper. Number 12, what are the ionic half equation for the electrode reactions during the electrolysis of concentrated aqua sodium product? So the answer for this will be B. The temperature of the water in two beakers X and Y is measured as 25.1 Celsius. 5 grams of sodium chloride is dissolved in the water in beaker X. The temperature changes to 18 Celsius. 5 grams of calcium oxide is dissolved in the water in the beaker Y. The temperature changes to 29.4 Celsius. Which type of process are occurring in beaker X and Y? X is actually represent endothermic process and Y is actually exothermic. Which gases are used to generate electricity in a fuel cell? Hydrogen fuel cells produce electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The hydrogen reacts with oxygen across an electrochemical cells similar to that of the battery to produce electricity, water, and small amount of heat. So the answer for this will be hydrogen and oxygen. Which row identify a chemical and physical change? You get the answer for number 15 is B. A sample of dilute nitric acid is added to lump of limestone in a cold conical flask. The conical flask is placed on a balance and the loss in mass is measured. A second sample of nitric acid of a different concentration is separately tested. All other conditions are kept the same. The loss in mass in one minute at each concentration of nitric acid is shown. Which rule describe and explain the result obtained using one mole decimeter cube with nitric acid compared with 0 0.5 mole decimeter cube? nitric acid. So the answer for this will be increases in the reaction rate and also increase in a particle condition rate. When carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen, methanol is formed. The forward reaction is exothermic. Which statement are correct? There are more moles of gas on the left-hand side of the reaction, correct? And number three is increasing the pressure increases the amount of methanol at equilibrium. So the answer will be D. In the blast furnace, iron is formed when iron three oxide reacts with carbon monoxide in a redox reaction. Which substance is the oxidizing agent and which substance is a reducing 
agent. Fe Fe two O three is undergoing reduction, so it acts as oxidizing agent. So the answer for this will be D, and the reducing agent will be C O. Which oxide is classified as an amphoteric acid? The answer will be aluminium. Oxide is amphoteric. It has reaction as both base and an acid. And number 20, which a statement describes the properties of hydrochloric acid? Like all metals, carbonate, calcium carbonate, they react with acidic solution to produce carbon dioxide gas. And it is this reaction that is responsible for limestone freezing when dilute hydrochloric acid is placed on its surface. So the answer would be A, carbon dioxide is produced when limestone react with hydrochloric acid. With that being said, thank you for listening. And please don't forget to subscribe to John Study Lab YouTube channel. And Joe Study Lab Instagram. At the moment, you can purchase or you can get customized notes at http beacons.ai slash jomestabilder or other options to access to beacons.ai you can access via jomestabilder instagram that's all for today and hope to see you later